So this is going to be a fun one. I'm turning into Princess Fiona from Shrek today. So I can decide between like human Fiona and ogre Fiona. So we're doing both. So I'm just starting out with just basically be regular beauty makeup on the left hand side of my face. And then I'm doing a little bit of shadowing just to separate where the ogre side is going to be from the human side. And then just going back in and finishing up all of the beauty makeup. So that's going to be adding in freckles because you don't have freckles, some blush, just retouching that up. And then just some like a very natural eyeshadow look because she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup, but like enough where I like, I want something here. And then just do like a simple, simple line for my lashes to be sitting on. And then I went through with my normal, like one of my normal like eyeshadow thing, things, pencils. And I just put like a reddish orange on top of that for like a more of a ginger tone. Now I'm going in with a light green um, body paint from Mayron, just kind of all over the side here where my ogre, or Fiona's ogre skin is. So. I really like the Mayron paints because they cover up the tattoos really, really well. I mean, I could, probably could have gone over it like a second time just to really make the, the hummingbirds disappear. But like in comparison to like other body paints I've tried, Mayron really makes those vanish. And I'm sticking a green um, eyeshadow. This is from NYX. Pretty much all the eyeshadows I'm using here for NYX. And just to do some shading where my nose is, kind of get more of an ogre -ish shape. And then very very accentuate the laugh line because Fiona's got some killer laugh lines and she's she does a smirk so and then I'm just putting in a pink lip because Fiona's got pink lips in all of her forms and then I'm doing green um, freckles on the ochre side just because I didn't think that the um, brown really worked and then putting more blush on just because it kind of vanished and yeah, so I'm just putting on mascara. This is an old mascara. I don't actually know what this is. But then I'm just using my brows, same as I did on the B side, using the pencil, and then just using a kind of a dark orangish brown color to go on top. And then I'm gonna be going in and I think at this point, yeah, I'm putting in the yellow from the dress. How long is it? Okay, yeah, the yellow from the dress. I think this is. The shade Mango, it's also from Mayron. All the things I'm using from, are from Mayron. Um, this is in the Tropical Palette. And then I'm going in with a Deep Sea Green, which also from Mayron. Just kind of everywhere. Y'all can't look at the boobs. The, boob, the, boobs are, the boobs weren't out, but they were like... I was painting down in them, and I just... I, it's not going on camera. <laughs> so, you look at the ceiling while I'm doing that. But, um, yeah, so just putting in that deep green, basically just everywhere. Because her dress is pretty much all just that one shade here. I'm not going too, like, in deep depth on, like, the green shade, like, making sure that it's not, like, covering, like, that like it's not like completely smooth everywhere that's just going to be a lot of details over top of it so i was it was fine with how it was sitting underneath and then i'm just going to go in with um some brown eyeshadows just kind of create uh some more depth between um where the dress is and the skin and then just going in with an even deeper brown kind of gray tone to really separate the ogre from the human side as you see here. And then I'm just gonna go in and really depth, depth, deepen that separation from the um, dress. I don't know why my, my webcam's like doing a flashing thing. So if you notice that, I apologize. I don't know if it's causing that. I don't know how to fix that. It's just, it's just there. But yeah, and then at this point, then I decided to define my collarbone and the cleave. Because for Fiona, her boobs are up top. My boobs are staying down low. But, like, she's wearing, like, kind of corset things. So they're kind of more pushed up versus mine aren't. And you're not going to see my real ones. So, yeah. 
anyways putting depth more into the dress kind of where the sleeves are it's kind of more down or it's kind of like an under layer so that's why i'm putting like a black and like a deeper green just to really you know separate that and then at this point then i'm putting in the yellow which again is just neon this is not 100% accurate, like in like the exact placement of where all of these things are, but it is like what's on the dress, just not in the exact placements. And that's just because I was looking at a really, really small picture of Fiona, and there was no way I was going to get that 100% accurate. Like some had like just the upper part, others had like like one section. I, it, I just, I decided to. Say, Go with like general feels of the dress and the pattern that's on this like overdress piece versus making it 100% accurate to what the real dress is but you'll see it's got like the vines and the flowers and the little leaves it's very princess fiona it's just not 100% accurate so it's not accurate but i was i was going for something close and then i was taking a brown um eyeliner from ColourPop to put in that detail on that gold border because it's not just a solid line and it's got a lot of detailing in like it's like got dots or something like on a line part and it's got a bunch of arrows with more arrows and I screwed up at some point while I was doing the second layer of the arrows I majorly roiled up roiled up screwed up really screwed up on one side you can't see it too well actually no you can you can see it it's it's very messed and then a, there's kind of a border so i just putting that in and then it goes like in this like this figure eight and then a baby sign thing that goes in the center because of the way i messed it up there was no way it was gonna look perfect so i just tried my best and you know what, I still really like how this turned out, even if that one section is a little messed up, like, in, honestly. But then you also have more arrows that kind of go in between, so I'm just kind of adding them in. Again, it's not 100% accurate, but it gives it gives the vibes, like, those are 100% the vibes of Princess Fiona's dress. And I was just doing a little bit more um, shadows and some highlights with a mint color on the ogre side and then we're gonna put it on the wig um this is from InStyle. i really like and we're just kind of doing the braids it's not 100 because it's one it's the wrong length and two the wig is curly versus fiona's hair is not curly so it's not 100 accurate to fiona's hair but we weren't going for 100 percent accuracy with, with this back thing. We were just going with Princess Fiona and the vibes, pulling that back, and then we're taking those little wispy bits just to cover up my ears. You can't have human ears on the ogre side. And then I kind of made this ogre ear out of paper, and then her tiara also out of paper, and then just painted with the color paint. And I really, I really like how this looks turned out. I hope you guys all enjoyed the body paint. And I'll see you guys all in another body painting stream. Or, well, yeah, stream, but also in a video. So, thank you all. Subscribe, do the like, all the YouTube things, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye!